Welcome to update number three. Uh, I got the engine back in the boat, staged it back in the boat. Uh, I got the plywood set in place to cover up the uh, foam. I'll be fiberglassing that in. Now, at several different places around the boat, I'll be putting uh, wood across because I'll be putting some hatches down over uh, the bilge area. But the deal I'm working on right now is I kind of roughed in the exhaust. It's an inch and a half pipe, uh, galvanized pipe, which is uh, acceptable. Uh, it's the same size pipe that comes out of the exhaust on the on the motor and that exhaust uh, drops eight inches which is uh, acceptable but my problem is that after I roughed it in I realized you see how that I need to keep the exhaust under the floor because I want to make the boat self bailing and I don't want any of the deck water to be able to migrate into the bilges so I need to keep the exhaust under the floor. Well, that tube, you can see that the bend in that tube, well, that, that, that tube is going to fill with water. And I'm afraid there'll be a slug of water in that thing waiting every time I go to start the motor and the back pressure is liable to blow that hose right off the uh, back of that motor, which would be bad. Uh, and I also don't want that slug of water down in inside that uh, inside that tube. So anyway, this update is uh, to kind of detail how I'm going to fix that problem. Uh, I wish I could see this. I wish I could see this video in advance because I don't exactly know how I'm going to fix this problem. But uh, the next thing you see will be either me working on this problem or this problem solved. Well, here we are back. And just like I promised, um, this is what I came up with. Uh, this new arrangement has a 1 in 13 drop from the water injection point point. That's an 11 inch steam tube. Then it goes down to a 245 degree inch and a quarter junctions, pipe fittings. Then it gently slopes out to the stern of the boat. And it comes out at the stern of the boat right at the max displacement of the, uh, of the hull. It shouldn't, uh, it shouldn't be underwater under normal circumstances. And the two 25 uh, or 45 degree bends right there will keep an angle so any water sloshing up into the pipe won't be able to make that won't be able to make that turn additionally the reason I'm making a big deal about this is you got to you got to be careful that water can't uh, travel up the slosh up that pipe and then up into your manifold. And there is a, a 13, 13 inch drop from the, from the, uh, where the exhaust pipe leaves the manifold to where it goes out of the boat. So, and the whole engine is, 
or the entire manifold is is well above the the water line of the boat, even uh, under the most extreme circumstances. As a matter of fact, the the top of the manifold, that the top of the angle there, is 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 probably about even with the top of the gunnels. So the next uh, the next problem is that I've got to. I've got. I'm, I'm looking for an elegant system to make sure that all that exhaust piping is underneath the bilge cowling because I don't want the bilge. I don't, I don't want uh, rainwater and stuff to be able to go into the bilge, and so I'm going to have to. And I also don't want to put a. I don't want to put anything across right over top the 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 uh, shaft log hole right there because I want to be able to get to that shaft hole the shaft log I don't want to I don't want to cover permanently cover the notch there in the where where the uh, stuffing tubes gonna go because I need to be able to get at that and I have to have access to the shaft coupling so all that uh, has to be figured in and that'll be the problem for tomorrow so this is the end of update number three thank you